Okay, let's start. Um, today we are talking about a uh, uh, simple demo of a web portal to do uh, basic routine config uh, using TR TR069. Okay. Uh, I will be speaking in Portuguese, but I will be inventing the word, then I will continue speaking in English. You have any problem with that, or I can change to my own Portuguese? Uh, okay. Then, uh, I'm uh, Shore Castellet. No? Shore is in Portuguese, I think. Okay, it's okay. Uh, I'm a micro T certified trainer. I'm also a freelance. I have all these certifications. Maybe I miss on one, or maybe all the certifications. I don't know. Okay, this is my email. If you want to ask some questions to me <coughs> at the end of the presentation, you can answer an email at that address, and I will answer to you. I don't know if I out of frame. Uh, well. We also do training and certification here in Portugal with uh, TrueNet, a distributor here in Portugal. Okay. We do in English and Portuguese maybe, Raul, yes, sí. I mix in, mixing it. Okay, then. Uh, what we need uh, to do that, to achieve that goal? We need two, uh, two pieces of code, a CP1 management protocol and auto configuration server. This is the basis of the solution. Uh, the solution is based on that pieces of code, but it's not the solution. Okay, it's using some function uh, some uh, API they are offering to us. Well, uh, the main, uh, Part of the system is the CWMP. It's a TR069 um, implementation. Okay, uh, it's developed for automatic management and configuration of uh, remote equipment. Huh? Uh, it's based on SOAP and HTTP. Uh, uh, it has secure self-configuration. It has function for management and control, and also have an integrated environment <coughs> to do uh, some kind of uh, functions. Okay, uh, is based on a session uh, that we are exchanging message between the server and the client. Okay, uh, always the client start a session uh, in response to different events. They have a boot, a restart, uh, inform event. Okay, there is a uh, finish a task. We have sent a uh, question pure. Uh, it's important to know the, that only CPE starts a session. I am speaking so fast in English. It's okay. okay. I will try to speak more slowly, but I, I, I think I, don't, I can't. Okay. I'm going at my, my very slow uh, speed. Okay, then. Uh, the server can uh, request a session to the client. Okay, they only can request a session, but it's only the client who starts a session and asks to the server that uh, what they want to do with uh, with it. Uh, the client always starts a session with the inform uh, RPC. Okay, sending the their status, how, uh, and some, but. Uh, uh, stuff they have to inform to the server. What offers to us Microtik implementation? It's Murphy's presentation. I'm some nervous. I need to calm. Okay. Uh, it supports HTTP and TTPS. Uh, have a TTP authentication of the server, has an inform, uh, client certificates, and is based on data model tier 181. But you are thinking, 
is not speaking about that one, what's happening. It's another data model available for auto configuration servers. MicroTik is based on that one. Okay? Uh, what happens? I just start that presentation, I just start reading, I read all the data model, I go to MicroTik, I read all the implementation because the manufacturers don't have, uh, don't need to uh, implement all the options the data model has, okay? They can only implement a subset of the options. Then I read MicroTik, and I found that not all MicroTik power can be do it through tier 069, okay? Then will we need some scripting if we, uh, if we can do some uh, things like uh, change the channel bandwidth of the Wi-Fi, okay? Or, or another uh, things we can to do, okay? Is not the point of the presentation, okay? It's for you own the job when you uh, get my virtual machine. Okay, this is the minimum configuration of the uh, MicroT client. Here now is a is another field that I, that the client can send to the server a, a text identifying the more specifically the client, okay? In the new version, it's a little old. This is the very, very minimum configuration. This is the uh, address of the server, uh, one day for periodic interval. They will be that the client only connect to the server once time every day, okay? And of course, I reboot the client, they will contact to the server again and start one day counting. Then, what happens if I perform a reset button? I lost all TR or, TR or SAX 9 configuration. It's okay, Carlis? You think I'm missing something? Okay. Then, uh, we have to use net install to uh, upgrade the default script configuration to avoid that problem. Okay? We can also use uh, MicroTik a specific uh, TR069 uh, RPC that we can send the default script by uh, this protocol to the client CPA. Okay. What is Genius Auto Configuration Server? It's an implementation open source of that uh, protocol. Okay. It's built on Node and Mongo. Uh, they has a powerful uh, set of callbacks, and I use that callbacks done uh, for check client status and send the commands we I want to the client execute and, and perform on their side. Okay. Um, sorry, I need some vodka. In this demo, I want the customers to change their Wi-Fi parameters, uh, and uh, the customer only can access to the web portal uh, through their place. This is in their home, and they want to change the the password of the Wi-Fi the Wi-Fi system. Okay, the client only knows my local IP address, but is too hard to remember then, because uh, this IP is always different from MicroTik, then I do a mm, the DNS name config me to perform the auto configuration from the client side. Then uh, we need to mm, uh, do uh, some previous work on our MicroTik to do a static cache entry on the end system and uh, to do a a firewall rule to redirecting all the traffic to the web server of the uh, router to our web, uh, web server where is installed uh, our portal. Then in the demo will we see three pages, uh, authentication page, very basic authentication. For sure you do better authentication than me. 
I, for sure. Okay, uh, a root status page and a Wi-Fi parameters edit page. Then uh, I made in Express Java. Uh, I'm not a senior programmer. I only want to to learn some Express and I start in Express the project. Okay, then maybe yours is your code more better than mine. In, at that point, maybe next year, my, my code is better than yours, okay? Then, uh, customer report, uh, Jenny stored in Mongo a copy of the parameters that the client sent to the server. Then it's a copy, a dead copy of the, uh, of the information. We, when we uh, query uh, Genius, we will query that copy, okay? This is a, a did copy, and maybe I say in some Wi-Fi clients that at that moment there is not connected at, at our system. Then we start uh, ever transaction with a refreshed, refresh seven to uh, uh, to do that. The client send a new, a fresh copy of the of the information to the server. Okay, then will we query the server to get the new copy? What happens? Uh, you see sometimes, uh, you see before uh, Genius, someone knows about that, someone uh, used the software. They have a graphical user interface and it's offering us in that format the, that, uh, <coughs> the values, okay? We have the key from here and this is the value. But, uh, the problem is that we, we are querying, we, we have that, and, and JavaScript object. It's not a problem, we can access that. But the problem is that when, it is the, when the value is a key, is in that format. And we have to, we have, we querying uh, that key, and it's returning that, and we have to translate that format to that to access the value. We also have one problem, uh, another problem. Uh, when we added an IP address to our MicroT router, start with uh, the number one. If we deleted that IP address and added the uh, new one, the number is two, it's not one, okay? Then we have to uh, query ever to know what is the, the the key word. Then I I implement that function that converts that uh, structure that uh, format to an an object to access the code. Okay, this is a simple example we are using here. We have the object here of the information. We want to retrieve that tree to search uh, what is the the IP address uh, associated with interface one. Okay. This is the login page of our web portal. Okay. Some questions at that moment. Is too difficult for you? No? Okay, let's continue. Then the status page will be that one. Okay, we have uh, basic internet information, Ether1, IP address, subnets, gateway, MAC address, download, download bytes. There will be that Ethernet clients, the XCP, uh, here the Wi Fi clients. Okay? This will be the basic settings, changes, enable, disable wireless interface, uh, change the Network mode is B, G, A, N, only A, N, only G, okay? The SSID and the channel. And in a security, we can change the security mode, WPA or WPA2, and the password we have to use. For example, we have that security profile on our Wi-Fi, and we have to change it then we come here, we also using WPA only, and we have to use two. 
And the new password is that we do an update and uh, the client creates another security profile and it will be using that one. If I mo do more changes, they will be updating that security profile, okay? With our authentication types, we select it here and the path phrase here, okay? You see? Finish. It's okay. so fast. Some questions? We can do a live demo if you want. We have time. No? You are all sleeping, I think, at that moment. Okay? If you want, you can send an email to me and I will send you the virtual machine on with this uh, stuff is doing.